Mixed martial arts in South Africa has come a long way. From a fledgling sport primarily fought in parking lots to a sport that now offers athletes a chance to earn a living and make a career out of it. But it's not always easy to train full-time and earn enough to survive. Somehow the new EFC middleweight champion has perfected a way to overcome running a successful IT consulting business and fighting the best MMA athletes the continent has to offer in the Extreme Fighting Championship. Balancing a professional fighting career in a business is quite difficult, you know, if you, if you have a client who gives you a bit of stick, you might, you know, get a little bit annoyed, but no, I'm, I'm seriously joking. No, it's, um, it's very difficult, so you can only train early mornings or late evenings. Um, you have to have enough time to get to shower and get to work, and uh, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's very difficult as it is, especially when you're fighting guys who aren't doing that and they're training two, three times a day, no worrying about sweat rings, sitting in front of people, so it's... Um, I don't balance it well, but I balance it. Cleland is regarded as a pioneer of MMA in South Africa and says winning the belt has been the culmination of early mornings and long hours in the gym. What happened was for the first, say, decade of my fighting career, there weren't any belts that you could win. And um, a friend actually said something very interesting to me. He said, um, if I hadn't won this title, I would have been a, 15, a, fi a fighter who's fought 15 years and never won anything worth it. So. After he said that, the realization was, yeah, then, then it actually sunk in and it was like this is a, an achievement of my lifetime and it's, um, it's, it's 15 years of hard work, blood, sweat, tears, getting up in the morning. You know, it means a lot. It means more than I could actually explain to someone. The 35-year-old believes that if an athlete is determined enough, they'll be able to find a way to have the best of both worlds. First of all, you've got to get a good team. It is a team sport, even though you... It looks like we're up there on our own and you know carrying a, a torch is an entire team behind you your your corner generally wins you the fight my corner won me my fight um, the other thing as well is you've got to look at that work-life balance if you if you want to have a career um, and you want to do MMA as well you've got to be very good at getting up early in the mornings you're not going to be able to to mesh the two and um, the last thing I would say as well is you've got to be mentally tough to push through things like that. Not mentally tough for the fight because we all know that in a fight you don't feel anything anyway because of the adrenaline. You've got to be mentally tough for, that, for the training. And the training is the hardest part of fighting, not fighting. He's one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. Liam Cleland is the middleweight champion of the Extreme Fighting Championship and he somehow managed to find a balance between a demanding IT business and a professional fighting career. But he's proven that it is achievable with enough discipline and hard work. CS2 Plus C, CCTV, Johannesburg.